In this section, I want us to think about what a compass is and how we can move around compass points. So, I've drawn a compass here. What a compass shows is where you are in the world. So, our Earth has a top, which is north, and it has a bottom, which is the south. If you're facing north and you look to your right hand side, that way, you'll be looking to the east. If you're facing north and you look to the left hand side, that will be the west. So if we think about a map with Britain or England in the middle here, this way to the west would be America, over the sea here. This way to the east would be Europe, then Russia, China, etc, etc. Um, to the north would be the North Pole, to the south will be Antarctica and the South Pole. So that's how a, a compass works. We can then look at placing someone or something in the middle of a compass. Here I've got a little Lego person. I think my son told me this person's name is Weasel. I think it's a woman, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Here we've got this little Lego person. Let's call it Weasel. Weasel's there and she is pointing north. Her staff here is pointing upwards to the north. I'm going to move Weasel around so that she's pointing to the east. So she's moved in this kind of angle. Can you remember what this kind of angle is called? Have a think. Yep, it's a right angle. Now, trickier question. Can you remember how many degrees are in a right angle? Straight up, straight down. So joining with a perpendicular line, we've got 90 degrees in a right angle. So what we've got here is Weasel turning 90 degrees. She's turned exactly a right angle. Right, here's a question for you. This is question number one. I've got Weasel. She's pointing up to north. I'm going to turn her past east all the way to south. How many degrees has Weasel turned? She started at north, she's gone to east, and then she's gone all the way around, pointing to south. Think about it. Two lots of a right angle. So we've got a 90 plus another 90. Work that out. Write it down somewhere. Excellent. Here's your answer. She's turned 180 degrees because she's turned the first 90, then she's turned the second 90. Let's pop Weasel back. Okay, Weasel is still pointing north. 90 degrees, we can also call it a quarter turn or a quarter of a turn. Because if you look at the compass, it splits into four quarters. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. If Weasel turned all the way around, one quarter, two quarter, three quarter, four quarter, should be back where she started. One whole. So this would be a one quarter turn as well. Sorry, that's not quite as clear as my Sharpie, is it? One quarter turn. So I'm now going to say which direction will Weasel be pointing if I turn her three quarter turns? We're always going to turn to the right here. So which direction will she be pointing in if I turn her one, two, three quarters? Have a think. Write it down. Hopefully, you'll have got that she'll be facing west. So if we start her here, one quarter, she faces east. Another quarter, she faces south. Another quarter, she faces west. Good stuff. Let's pop her back. Fantastic. There you go, Weasel. Now, sometimes it's quite useful to see this yourselves. 
So um, what I'd like you to do is you can pause this video now and have a look at the main maths video where you'll see me in my garden moving around facing north, facing south, facing east, facing west. And all I want you to do, I don't want you to do the, um, the actual questions on that, but I just want you to have a look at it and see if you can have a go yourself. Pick out four sides of your room, north, south, east, west, and have a go at moving around with that. So you'll go and do that? Excellent. And I'll see you back here in a few minutes after you've had... Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is direction. So the different direction that something could be moving. We can talk about the direction something is turning if we remind ourselves of how a clock moves. So I've put on here, I've drawn a clock, that would probably be two o'clock. The short hand will be pointing to round about the two and the long hand will be pointing up to the top, to the 12. Just think, which way do the hands of a clock move? Have a little think about it. Do they move this way or do they move this way? So do they turn always to the right or do they turn always to the left? Have a think. Yep, you're right. They always turn to the right. So just like uh, we did with Weasel, when Weasel was moving, she was always turning to the right. So what we can say is she was moving in a clockwise direction exactly the same way that a clock goes. If we'd moved Weasel in the other direction, the way, the opposite way to the way a clock moves, we call that anti-clockwise. So now I want you to draw a person or an animal as long as it's standing up. So I'm going to draw a stick person here, she's got a happy face, and she's got curly hair. Good stuff. My stick person is facing this way. We can call it north if we want. She's just standing straight up. So she's facing north. Now I want to turn this person one quarter turn anti-clockwise. So your challenge You've got to draw a person first. You might want to pause the video for this. So draw your person. Pause. Excellent. You're back with us. You've drawn your person. Now you need to turn that person and you need to draw that person having gone through one quarter turn anti-clockwise. It should take maybe 30 seconds to do. So pause the video. Draw your person again. Excellent, you're back with me. And you've probably got a person that's looking like that. If you see what we've done, we've got our person looking directly upwards and we've turned them one quarter or 90 degrees anti-clockwise, so the opposite way that a clock has gone. Good stuff. Right, next one. Um, can you draw this arrow pointing to the right? If you want to draw a slightly fancy arrow, then you can draw a fancy arrow. Don't worry about that. There you go. Check how fancy it is. So you've drawn your fancy arrow. Now I need you to draw an arrow, and it can be fancy if you want, turned to... 170 degrees anti-clockwise. 270 degrees. Okay, that's a three quarter turn and we're going anti-clockwise. Right, off you go, pause, draw it again, which way we're going. Great stuff, you're back with me now. So what we've got, we know that we're gonna be turning in this direction. So we need one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and we should have an arrow that is pointing 
directly downwards. Um, extra mark, can you tell me another way that you could have turned the arrow in order to get it pointing down? Have a think about that. We turned it three quarters of a turn anti-clockwise and it points down. What's another way that you could have turned it? Some would say an easier way. Yep, absolutely. It will be one quarter clockwise. One quarter that way would get it into exactly the same place. All right, what I want you to do now is I want you to go onto the White Rose website. I'll put a link below. I only want you to do questions one, two, and three. So it's the first page. Have a little go at that, and um, you can look at the.